The next thing I'm going to show is using the iPad to control the TV by powering on the TV. So I'm just going to push the button on this and that's sending a signal. It's actually called a red eye, all one word, um, is the controller. And that's now turning on the um, TV for me. And then let's go back to those controls. And I can oops, mute the TV for a while. Um, and again, all because the TV is not internet, internet connected, all the TV controls uh, that we're seeing um, come through the infrared control. Now, there are lots of different ways of doing the same thing. So I can control the, um, the DV player um, either through the um, infrared, which is what I'm going to do right now. I think that should... Yeah, that's now starting that movie. Um, or else, once that's playing, I can go to the other app. Oh, I've still got to unmute. Let me unmute there. I can go to the other app because my DV player has got an internet connection. I can go to that other app, uh, this one here, and now I'm controlling it directly through the internet, like that. So that's now controlling my TV. So I've got that TV and DV player, and I can do the same thing with my sound system, which I will show you in a minute. So these are the various activities I've set up for the living room. One of the nice things about this red eye unit is that you control not only individual devices, but um, what, what are called activities. So for instance, watch Blu-ray DVD activity turns on both the DV player and the TV at the same time. And then when I, uh, when I go to that, it gives me the controls both for the TV with the volume controls here and the mute there and also for the DV player so I can start that like that and also pause it there. So I've got everything there in one go rather than having to do what usually you have to do of jump between different infrared remotes and in my case I can barely touch them or hold them and I always drop them on the floor anyway. So this is a huge improvement for me and make, makes life much easier. Here are some of the activities for the living room. Um, watch TV player. Um, I've got a little Apple TV that I haven't shown you. Um, watch the netcast. That's just because on my DV player, um, you can not only watch uh, movies on a DVD, but also um, from internet streaming. Uh, listen to music is to turn on my uh, amplifier, uh, which actually I always leave on, but... But there it is anyway. Uh, it's just reloading that one. Please wait. Why is it waiting? <laughs> uh, and I see the light. There we go. Uh, so there are all of the commands to my amplifier. And what I'm going to show you now is how I control my music. So on my music system, I can not only listen to all of my CDs, which I've put on the computer here, um, but also radio from around the world. He is Radio 3 from England, which I like to listen to. And I've got all of the different uh, BBC radio programs down there. Um, it's not just that I'm originally from England and I like listening to it. It's also very good radio as well. But we can listen to anything else, uh, local. So here are all of the local stations. WHYY, that's the Philadelphia Public Radio System. Uh, which we've got there. Um, and then as well as that, we've got all of my CDs. Oh, let me just pause the radio for a minute. Go back to my CDs. We'll just select a random one. Uh, some of these. And just scroll through them. Uh, Let's have some Beethoven Piano Concerto. And that will be starting up there. Okay, that's Beethoven for us. Very grand. And again, I've got exactly the same app both on my iPad and the iPhone, so I can control everything 
equally from the iPhone. Um, I can control the volume. Um, let's do that. Let's make it first of all quieter. Like that, that makes it quieter. Or I can make it louder. 